What's up, guys? Welcome to a new episode. Today, we are going to be continuing on with our Genshin adventures. And it's been... Oh, look. Okay, we have a day. Sorry, guys. I've just been ill and busy with uni. My final deadline was due. Or is due, so I was just finishing up work on that. And today, we're going to be continuing on with the quests. We have a lot to do, so I'm planning on getting all of these done today. So we only have a day left. Let's actually continue. Oh. Wait, okay, which one am I supposed to do? I'm gonna flash forgot. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I have so many quests that I don't know which one is which. Okay, this one. I think this was in like the city, yep. So let's teleport ourselves to the city. I've been so ill. Like incre incredibly ill. One thing I hate about being ill, right? Is my throat killing. Especially when I have swollen glands. Mm, mm -mm. It kills to have swollen glands. Like literally, like I'm, I'm okay with aches, you know, like the shiver, the shivering, a bunch of other stuff, right? But as soon as my throat hurts, it just, it's so annoying because you can't eat food, right? And it hurts to just swallow saliva, like your own saliva. No, no, it's like the one thing that I hate about like being ill. Okay. The, the Visari passage. Oh. Okay. Na, 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 na. This is where Farina lives. Oh yeah, we're meeting Farina. Okay. I'll go knock on the door. Today's also my leg day. <laughs> coming, coming. Ugh. Seriously, who's knocking before afternoon tea? Oh my god. Uh -huh. Who are you? <laughs> <clears throat> Lady Farina, please allow me to introduce myself. I am Xavier, a film director. Hello. Oh, is that the traveler in Paimon I see behind you? Hello, Farina. And who's this? I'm Chiori. Ah, the one from Chioria Boutique. Hello, hello. <laughs> so, what are you all doing here? Uh, do you need something? Did you just get up, Farina? It's already past noon, you know. Try to be nice. Uh, oh, I. Uh, Paima means the weather is so mm. nice in the afternoon and the uh. sun is so warm. Just like how you make us feel. Sleeping in <laughs> is a really smart idea. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, no. I was just up late last night reading some novels. Uh, what does sleeping in have to do with the weather? <clears throat> this is a small gift we've prepared for you, Lady Farina. We hope you like it. No need to be so formal. I'm just a regular person like everyone else now. Oh, is this Fontanalia Moose? <laughs> it's one of my favorites. <laughs> That's great. So actually, there's something we need your help with. Given your renowned oh passion and understanding of drama, I would like to ask that you serve as the director of our film crew. Director. But didn't you just say that you're a director? <laughs> yes, but for this particular project, I'm mainly working as a producer. Besides, I'm sure that your understanding of the performing arts far surpasses my own, Lady Farina. Can't she still the be the acting, like, Archon? Part of the film crew? Hmm? Yep, we sure are. Paimon's the clapper loader, and he's the camera operator. Come on out. Camera operator? That can be a pretty technical job, and it directly affects the final quality of the film. Are you really up to it? Of course. I can show no, you if you like. I'm not questioning your abilities. It's just that <clears throat> I've never really seen you use a camera before. Oh, believe me, we've used a lot, especially in these events. If he can satisfy you with his camera skills, then you'd have nothing to worry about and can join the team. What do 
you say? Mm -hmm. uh, you sure are getting better at rolling with the situation, Paimon. Hmm. Oh, I do wish to see how skilled the traveler really is with a camera. There's no one question right. Paimon, like as in she's this? with us and everything. We'll work with what we have. I'll give you some scenarios and see if your work is up to my standards. Whatever Very you good. say, Farina. It's essential for the camera operator to understand the director's vision. I'll make my decision after seeing your work. Are you ready? I have high standards, you know. I am okay. ready. Grab the camera and I'll give you a scenario. Oh my god, okay. Estelle is the boss of the Beaumont workshop and has always been proud of a forging machine, as in can not only precisely control strength of temperature, but also takes no effort from the blacksmith. Let us film a promotional video for her workshop. Remember to emphasize the superiority of her forging machine. Start shooting. Na, 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 na. Oh, we did this! Okay. Uh, you need a scene that shows off the Beaumont workshop. This one. Located... Okay. Uh, you need to show off a scene of, for, of how the forging machine works. This one. Good narration. There we go. But. You need to show the scene of the atmosphere as Estelle works relaxedly. This one. Bang, we got this in the in the bag. You need to see you need to show of the weapons arranged. Uh oh okay, here, this is this one, yeah. Let me choose that. You need a scene that shows off the Beaumont workshop. Uh this one? Oh, no, no, this one. Okay, we'll go with that one. Start shooting. Okay. Boom. Damn. Oh, my God. We're so good at promotional vi of fucking videoing. For Fontaine companies. Yeah. We gotcha. Oh, it appears that you have more <laughs> skill than I thought. All the shots had a great composition, and I could really feel a connection to the characters and their lines. <clears throat> yeah! Does that mean you agree to be our director, Farina? <laughs> <laughs> Did you think I would agree just like that? Oh my god, I just realized. Performance of the little Ocean. I don't have my. <laughs> I don't have my fucking PNG loaded. Several troops approach me for the Fontanalia. Oh my god, hold on. give me a second, guys. Unfortunately, the scripts oh, wow. were all pretty boring and didn't pique my interest. If others were to find out I agreed okay, to work go. with you so easily, then well. Okay, that that should do it. Oh my god. Is it not what about the pay? Me? There we go. Huh? Na, you know na, na, how much na, you're willing to pay me to be the director? Na, 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 the pay na, is also na, an important factor for me to consider, na, you know. Na, na. Well, uh, I can offer you this much? Na, na, na. What? No, That's no. all? If Nervulet were to hear of this, he could charge you with underpaying your labor. <laughs> I'm sorry, but our crew is in a tight financial spot at the moment. Oh my god, my I sensitivity see. for my voice on well, Discord is so flipping high, bro. It's like picking up my voice even when I'm breathing. Let me lower it a bit. There's there we go. Still something I'd like no, no, no. to ask. Exactly what okay, film there we go. are you planning to make? Oh, uh, oh my god. Sorry guys, a bit scuffed. Na, 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 na. Huh? Wait, you mean the suspense thriller novel that was a number one bestseller? Na, 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 oh, na, so na, 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 read it too. Of course I read it. I've always had a keen interest in artistic works that strike a chord with the populace. I see. It all makes sense now. 
You must have used most of the budget to pay for the copyright. Uh, that's true. Uh, not really. The novel's author transferred the copyright to me practically for free once he heard that I wanted to make a film adaptation of the story. The lack of budget is due to another issue. He wow. probably just wants to get his name out there. So, Mora isn't the most important thing to him right now. Fair enough, it reminds yeah. me of a delivery courier who wears one of my designs while traveling all across Tavat. I didn't charge her much for the outfit either. The exposure she provides for my brand is well worth it. Take notes, guys. Uh, so, are you a big fan of this story, Farina? Well, uh, it's alright. The pacing of the story is good, but the character relationships could use some work. When I was reading it before, I always felt like some things were left on a rather unsatisfactory note. I have high standards, you know. <laughs> Ahem, Mr. Xavier, if, hypothetically speaking, I agree to be the director, how much freedom would I have in terms of script revisions and creative interpretation? True. Uh, oh, oh, as much freedom as you would need. I wouldn't dare doubt the tastes of Fontaine's greatest star. Good. Then I'm free to alter the script as I see fit. Absolutely no problem. I never knew her hair was that short when she's in her normal. Hmm. All right. It seems that your crew really can't go on without my care and direction. So, you agree? Yes, I agree. Although the pay is well below what someone of my caliber deserves, a great script calls for a great director. Who knows? You I might actually make a lot of money from this. Maybe it's your calling. Of funds. If you have fine cheese and bread, <clears throat> you wouldn't just let it sit on the <clears throat> counter and get moldy just because you lack an oven, right? That's true. Oh, Hydro Archon above! I'm not dreaming, am I? Somebody pinch me. There's no more. <laughs> you know. And it's still a little early to celebrate. There's a lot that goes into shooting a film. Although, the trickiest tasks of finalizing the script and casting the actors have already been taken care of, we'll still need to reserve filming locations. Not to say, set up lighting and props. That's and true. by the way, since we'll be filming The Two Musketeers, we'll need to find an action choreographer. Ideally, a professional who has actual experience with muskets. Oh, yes, we have I've um... about this as well. I was hoping that you might know someone who could handle the job. That girl. Me? Hmm. If this was before, I could have simply asked Lorand. But it's already been some time since I last talked to her. Navia can also use firearms, but unfortunately, her style is quite different from that of the characters in the story. Could we ask the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol? Oh, you mean the Special Patrol's Musketeers? Yes, that's right. They work with muskets every day. I can't think of anyone more qualified than them. Oh. They would be under Nervilat's jurisdiction. Unfortunately, I, uh... We could just ask him. have any connection with them at all. Who will help mm, us, right? So, in the end, we still have to start by talking to Nervilat. <laughs> no need to go to all that trouble. I know their Captain Chevras. But we know oh, Nuvillet, he'll help us. Wait, Chiari, how do you know the Captain of the Special Patrol's Musketeers? No particular reason. Running a business means dealing with some trouble from time to time, and she's helped me out on a few occasions. In return, I've helped her handle a few situations in which the Special Patrol couldn't get involved directly. So, we've gotten to know each other over time. We are friends. Uh, so you're saying there's been times when the Special Patrol needed a fashion designer to handle a situation? Your work is becoming more and more mysterious. Mm -hmm. It'd be best to keep it that way. Anyway, enough about that. What do you all think about asking the Captain to be our musket action choreographer? 
She sounds professional enough. She is a captain after all. <laughs> I have no objections. But I imagine the special security and surveillance patrol must be busy with their duties. <sighs> Do you think she'd really have time to help with shooting a film? And then there's the issue of pay. Well, it just so happens that she's also not the kind of person that's just after Mora. As for whether she has time, I'll have to go and ask her first. Then I'll leave that to you. Macaroni's on sale today, so I've got to go. You can just tell me how things went when we discuss tomorrow's plan later. No problem. <laughs> Having Farina join feels like a big boost to our team. Of course. Just wait until the day of our premiere. You'll witness the true power of my name in these lands. <laughs> You'll be so glad I agreed to help. I can guarantee that even the standing tickets will be sold out. I'll be sure to ask some people I know to see if they'd be willing to act as extras. <laughs> Seems like you're finally getting more comfortable with your own reputation now. Mm -hmm. I didn't ask for the Clapper Loader's commentary, Paimon. <laughs> then let's get going. I happen to know where Chevrolet is today. By the way, I'm curious. If my pay is so low, then what about our two lead actors? Didn't they travel here all the way from Inazuma? Oh, yeah. Actually, they told us that they see the trip as part of a cultural exchange, <laughs> so they didn't ask for any pay. What? So is every person into that who doesn't want money gathered here to shoot this film? Don't tell me Chiori isn't being paid either. I don't think she wants the money. <laughs> I already knew Xavier from before. And he's also agreed to give my brand some good exposure. It seems the gods have really smiled upon you, Xavier. And that certainly doesn't include me, mind you. <laughs> okay. Why is she so harsh on herself? Damn. Okay, where do we go? Oh, okay, you know what? Let's just teleport. The power of teleportation, guys. The power of teleportation. I just hope to God today we don't have any more internet issues. Oh my god, last time, I had so many. Na, 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 na. Oh, there she is. The one with an eye patch reading in front of the newsstand. Oh, her! Paimon could tell there was something different about her. She seems kind of intimidating. Please wait here for a moment. I'll go fetch her. She's working now, so you might not want to get in her way. Working? But isn't she just standing there and reading a novel? Mm hmm Just trust me. Oh, all right. Let's see what happens then. She always sure is a mysterious person. She claims just to be a fashion designer, but she knows all these powerful people. The Court of Fontaine isn't particularly tolerant of visitors from overseas, so it isn't easy for a foreigner to promote their brand here. Even more so in the competitive world of fashion. Mm. Even a local like me just trying to make a film has to face all kinds of challenges. So I can only imagine what Chiori has been through to get where she is today. Oh, she has a vision. That having more connections has definitely worked in her favor. Reading on the job? Detective novel. Oh, she's one, one of those. Character? No, multiple, branching storylines. I see. How's the plot coming along? One of the main characters is about to make a choice that will affect the rest of his life. I'd wager he's going to make the wrong choice. <sighs> anyway, to speed things up, there's something I need your help with. You know that doesn't depend on me. It all comes down to what the character chooses. <laughs> What? What? Which what are you on exactly about? Exactly why I'm here to help. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. What the? 
All right. It appears he made the wrong choice in the end. Okay. Hold on, guys. Give me huh? a What's going okay, on? There we go. Sorry. Hand over whatever you Yeah, have. hand over. Oh, it's just a book. I didn't buy anything else. Then I'm sure you wouldn't mind letting me have a look. Excuse me, officer. I don't mind you standing around here, not purchasing anything, but I'd prefer if you didn't disturb my customers. It's bad for business, you know? Don't give me that act. You won't be able to get off so easily either. What the fuck? I am Chevrat, captain of Fontaine's Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. I will say this one last time. Hand over whatever you're holding at once. And before you do anything unwise, let me remind you that I'll have you on the ground before you can even think about making a run for it. Scary. Uh, all right, all right. I'll give it to you. But please let me say something first. If there's any contraband in that book, then the shopkeeper here is the one who slipped it in. I don't have anything to do with this. Contraband? Why, you trying to leave me on the hook, huh? You were the one who said you wanted it. Save it for the interrogation room. Take them away, Letelier. Let's tell you a name. What's going on here? One second you're reading a book and the next you're escorting people away. Oh no. Oh no. The tour? Oh. Aren't you the traveler who's been all over the papers recently? Chiori, I'm assuming what you wanted to ask me about has to do with them, right? Oh, she's nice. Uh, maybe I can let you in on what's she's happening nice. then. Now that Vache has been brought to justice, no new shipments of synth will be made and distributed to sellers. The Fontaine guards have been busy collecting the remaining synth still circulating on the market. Thanks to a tip from our reliable source here, this should be the very last batch. Oh, so you were pretending to read a book in order to catch the bad guys! Hey. Oh, Paimon almost forgot to introduce ourselves. Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler and Xavier! Hey, I'm Chevrez. You probably already Chevrez. Myself, so <laughs> I don't bother repeating it. Chevrez. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Her name well, is so goofy. As soon as you had the chance. The Tellier. <laughs> Chevrez. No, I wanted to see if the shopkeeper would turn himself in first. All he had to do was come up to me and say that he didn't know where the synth had come from. If he did that, then I wouldn't have had to press charges on him. He had the whole day to turn the synth over to Chevrus. But instead, the moment I came up and blocked Chevrus' line of sight, he took the opportunity to sell it off. Yep, he made the wrong choice. Even though the right choice was right there in front of him. Mm. But you knew they wouldn't make the right choice. Yeah, I knew. I was just hoping I'd be wrong for once. Eh. <laughs> Enough about that, though. What did you want to ask me about? Oh, you see, it's like this. The two musketeers. You certainly have a good eye for a story. So what do you need me to do? Just be the action choreographer for the actors? Yes, that's right. I want to make sure we get all the details right. I want the actor's posture and understanding of firearms to be as realistic as possible. However, I'm afraid this work will require a bit of your time, since you'll have to be present whenever we're filming. Also, as for the pay... No need to say any more. I'll join. Just like that? I thought it should be more difficult. Like yeah, exactly! Chevrez. Okay, Chevrez. <laughs> Chevrez. <laughs> really? You're willing to help us with our humble film project? Sure, it's no big deal. As I said, we've wrapped up our investigation here, so I don't have any other tasks on my plate for the moment. Chevrez. Besides, I personally really like this novel. I even have the collector's edition at home. Stories where justice prevails over evil never get old for me. Oh my god, Chevrez. Then we've got a deal? Yeah, have you got a deal, yes, Chevrez? I'll see you on set tomorrow. Okay, Chevrez. <laughs> it's the name, man. Oh my! Letelier. I hardly believe it. I should tell Lady Farina immediately. Yeah. Oh, and I must tell the prop manager and lighting technician to get everything ready. We start filming tomorrow. Hey, you hear that, Chevrez? 
Calm down, Xavier. The film is going to take more than just a day to finish. Yeah, but we have to start earlier. I should also head back now and start preparing the actors' costumes and makeup. More good chevres. That's it for today, then. Okay. Bye, bye, chevre. Traveler, Paimon, please stay for a moment. I have something to tell you. Okay, Chevrez. What do you have to say? Then I'll take Xavier back. Okay. Poor thing. He's so excited that he can't even walk straight anymore. <sighs> I don't want to spend our first day fishing our producer out of the fountain. See you tomorrow. Yep. See you tomorrow. Bye bye, Chiori. Ch Chidori. Talk to Ch Chevrez. Where where where's Chevrez? Oh my god, Chevrez. Why is my game laggy? Okay, hello, Chevrez. What you got to? What, what you need to tell us, Chevrez? So what did you want to tell us, Chevrez? Chevrez. Have you read the Two Musketeers? No. The story is about a pair of children born into the household of a baron and their struggle to survive together and take revenge for their mother. Okay. They were raised at the baron's estate, where their mother worked as a maid. The two were illegitimate children that the Baron had with the maid, so they were never treated well by anyone. Fucking hell, man. One day, upon returning home, they found their mother had been murdered and left dead on the floor. It was quite evident that the culprits were the other members of the Baron's household, who never had any kind words to say to them. However, the Baron was able to exert his influence and keep the whole thing under wraps. The mother's death was eventually deemed as a suicide, and there was no chance of bringing her murderers to justice. Mm. The two siblings decided to flee and someday avenge their mother. Many years later, members of the Baron's family suddenly started turning up dead one after the other, all killed by gunshot. A rainbow rose was found on each of the victim's bodies, being the flower that the kid's mother liked best. Ooh. The Baron believed that the mother's soul had come to take vengeance on him, so he lived in fear each day. I mean, deserved but it. But it was actually those two siblings who had fled all those years ago. They relied on each other to survive and trained day and night, eventually becoming adept musketeers. Hey. They used all of their abilities to collect evidence and clues before executing their plan and exacting revenge on the Baron. Mm. Their actions let the truth behind their mother's death be known to all. That's quite an exhilarating story. Mm -hmm. Yep, the Baron got what he deserved for his evil deeds and justice was able to prevail. It was just the kind of story I enjoy. Is this story oh, real? So is that why you were so willing to join our crew, Chevrez? Chevrez. You could say it was one of the reasons. Oh, you mean there were other reasons too? I've read the reports about you. Whether it was at the trials or when you lent your hand to resolve our nation's crisis, you've shown that you've got a strong sense of justice, as well as a great mind for deductions. So what? Are you, so what you're yes, implying is? You're as sharp as I expected. It seems you've experienced many similar situations before. Has she got a headphone? There's been a recent murder case involving headphones? muskets. The perpetrator's methods appear to be very similar to what is described in the novel. Oh my God! You want us to like help you out with the case? The Mara Chose Phantom hasn't yet released any information to the public because okay. the investigation is currently at a standstill. The murderer is extremely cautious. A murder involving firearms? But not that many people use those in Fontaine, right? Mm hmm Could it be someone from your platoon? Impossible. We perform a routine inspection of our firearms and ammo reserves every day. If one of the weapons had been fired, it would stick out like a sore thumb. Besides, I trust the members of my platoon. However... Well, that's all I can disclose about the case today. Huh? What do you mean? I hope you all can go back and get some shut-eye. You can decide tomorrow whether or not you'd like to join the investigation with me. Shut-eye. I'm aware this might not be the ideal time to add more to your plate, but the more capable people we have, the better the chances that justice will prevail. Can someone from the Special Patrol help you investigate? Carrying out investigations isn't actually supposed to be our responsibility. Our job is to apprehend the perpetrators. Finding them is really up to the Marachose Phantom. Marachose Phantom. I'm taking part in the investigation out of personal interest. Okay, I Chef Reds. I want people to see muskets in a negative way. And also, I'm concerned about the similarity between the crimes and the story. Do so you think it's you real? They might be connected somehow? Oh my god. I suspect so. Just to make myself clear, this is not an order, nor is it a deal of any kind. 
It's a request. Nothing more. Mm -hmm. If you two have any interest in the case after we finish filming tomorrow and are willing to assist me, then I would be most grateful. Okay, Chevrolet. What do you think, Traveler? Uri, you know, let's give some thought tomorrow. It's already quite a day. Yes, you're right. Pyrant's getting a little tired too. We've really been hustling all day. Every day You'd better head back and get some rest. It's good to keep a calm mind, especially when you're about to make an important decision. Okay, Chevrolet. When the moment comes, you might end up like that shopkeeper and not even realize that the right choice is right there in front of you. Okay, Chevrolet. Oh my god, yay! We And we met Chevrolet! Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay. I don't think I have not Yeah. Ooh. The world remains constant over the centuries. Oh my god, why is the, the game so laggy? Or why? Through water. Transitory. Oh my god, new quest. How many quests are there? Okay. Let's go and do this one. Okay. Oh wait, we need to. What is it? Oh, wait until what time? Eight. Okay, let's actually skip. Uh. Wait, was it like here, right? We'll do this. That kid is jumping. <laughs> what the fuck? For the entire night. Oh my god. It's finally time to meet up with everyone. Go to Hall Till the Board. I dreamt of making the film last night. No, no. If Paimon remembers right, we're meeting at Hotel Till the Board. Okay, guys, give me a second. My game is laggy. You know, maybe if I teleport here, I should fix the game. Oh my god. There's always, a, there's always issues with this game. Okay, please don't lag. Oh my god. Yay! Good morning. Xavier said yesterday afternoon went well. Yeah, and how about you, Ayaka? What were you up to yesterday? After we split up, Ayato went to see Udex Nervilet at the Palais Marmonia. Ooh. I was originally thinking of going with him, but he said he could manage it himself. He told me to go see the sights around Fontaine and to enjoy the local culture. So I rode the aqua bus with Yoimiya and visited the opera house on Erinias Island. Erinias Island. Yeah, you wouldn't believe what we saw there. Two mechanical puppets that were dancing together. The nemesis Amazing, of the Corpelius. Right? Yeah, yeah, those two. Amazing, aren't they? Mm -hmm. We sat and watched for quite a while. It was mesmerizing. Like we could keep watching them forever. <laughs> The same for us the first time we saw them too. And we fucked them up. Afterwards, we went swimming at the beach. Well, diving to be exact. It was the first time I ever breathed underwater. How did you? I held Ayaka's hand and we counted down together. Three, two, one, and then. That's so flash! cute. We were beneath the waves. Na, 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 Da na 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 da na na da na 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 First, I didn't dare to open my mouth, but once I couldn't hold my breath any longer, Whoa. I decided to take a big breath in. <laughs> Turns out the water wasn't as salty as I imagined. It didn't really taste like anything at all. Before I knew it, I was breathing like normal down there. You're wearing your clothes. Feeling. Ayaka said I was too nervous and needed to loosen my grip. <laughs> she got used to everything way faster than I did. 
I've always wondered, since they like wear those type of shoes, how do they run? So I had no doubt we could do it too. That helped me feel at ease as soon as we dove in. The underwater world in Fontaine truly is beautiful. I love seeing the Romaritime flowers blossoming underwater, like little candles lighting up the streets at night. Yeah, and there were so many creatures that we've never seen in Inazuma. Like those fish that shimmer like a sword blade. Whoosh! Oh, and those big fish that call when they see people. Ooh. <laughs> oh, you mean hunters, raisin, blubber beast. <laughs> I just love the name blubber beast. Oh, just wait till Pops and the others hear about this. They probably won't believe a word I say. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> why is why is Yoimiya so funny? Oh my god. Mm. Guys, we have a long road ahead today. And we have like a decent amount of quests. I think this video will be more than two hours long. Like genuinely. Na, 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 na. Oh my god. I wonder, like, how, like, Chev Chevrez, like, the, like the, the quest that she gave us, how is that going to play out into, like, the filming aspect of the event? Ugh. Yo and Mia was down there for quite a while. It was dark before we finally rode the Aquabus back to the city. I figured she'd want to sleep in today. <laughs> yeah, even I was worried that I wouldn't be able to get up. <sighs> I still felt like I was drifting in the waves when I went to sleep last night. <laughs> but as soon as I woke up today, I remembered that we'd all be shooting a film together and I was ready to go. Speaking of the film, where's everybody else? My brother and Xavier were speaking to the restaurant owner about using the place as a filming location. Ooh. They should be here soon. As for the others, they... We're here. Shuri. Chevrez. Please excuse my tardiness. I just finished the special patrol's six mile morning jog. Whoa. Wait, six miles? Um. Oh, I'm so tired. I heard you all chatting, so I decided to come down. I sure could use some of that endless energy everyone else has. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Can someone fetch me a cup of coffee? More milk, hold the sugar. Sure, I'd be happy to do that for you. <laughs> no, you can't go anywhere. Please, have a seat over here so I can get started on your makeup. Ugh, the last thing I want is coffee stains on my costumes. <laughs> I can get the coffee. It's the perfect job for an assistant. Oh, yeah, she was the assistant. She's like hyper energetic and stuff. Ugh, so much energy. Seriously, what's her secret? Oh, Yoimiya's always like that. But you sure look exhausted, Farina. It's because you're not used to waking up so early, huh? Of course not. I spent the whole night reading the novel from cover to cover, marking sections that either need to be omitted or adapted. Wow. Paimon didn't expect you to be so thorough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I was the biggest star in all of Fontaine, after all. It takes more than just a pretty face to earn a reputation like that. I know how to get serious when the situation calls for it. I went all out when I was acting as an Archon, so why wouldn't I do the same for my own life? Here's your coffee, Director Farina. You're gonna drop it? <laughs> oh, thank you. Ah, the sound of being called director and the aroma of coffee <laughs> feels almost as refreshing as hearing the birds chirping in the morning. Oh, it seems everyone has managed to arrive on time. Mm -hmm. We've reached an agreement with the restaurant owner. 
We are free to use the second floor to shoot our film. Really? That's great! He is really looking forward to our film, and hopes that providing his restaurant as a filming location will attract more customers. Well then, Mr. Xavier, I'll leave the rest to you. Okay, thanks! First, I'd like to introduce our new members. This is our prop manager, Veronique. She'll be in charge of all the films, props, and items. And this is Bono, our lighting Bonneau. technician. He'll be in charge of lighting and illumination to set up each scene's atmosphere. Yay. Wow. Sure feels like we wow. have some real professionals joining the crew now. Mm -hmm. First of all, please allow me to first express my sincerest gratitude to everyone in the crew. When my investor informed me yesterday that he wouldn't be able to provide the funds, I really thought that this was the nail in the coffin for this film. We're going to make it an, an amazing film. I had no film. idea that I'd find so many people willing to help me on such short notice. Thank you. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart. No need to be so cordial, Mr. Xavier. We're all honored to be a part of this. Mm -hmm. Your works made a profound impression on me when I saw them back in Inazuma. I am sure that someday, this film will be remembered as a prime example of cultural exchange between Fontaine and Inazuma. Exactly. Yes, the story is the reason I agreed to join. I can't bear to even imagine what this film would look like without the very best director. <laughs> anyway, I would like to make a promise to everyone that as the producer of this film, I'll do whatever I can to ensure that everything goes as smoothly as possible. This is not just my film. It also embodies the thoughts and feelings of every person here, as well as the endless effort we are about to pour into it. <laughs> so, without further ado, the two musketeers will officially begin filming now! You may take it from here, Director Farina. All right. Okay. Listen up, everyone. Let's do this. Oh my god, there's so many people. The first scene takes place when the two young musketeers are living at the Baron's home, still mm. unaware of all that is about to happen to them. We'll need props and lighting to set the scene. Our lead actors can go get their makeup done, and extras, please take this time to go over your positions. Whoa. Seems Farina's really kicking things into gear as the director. Oh shit, whoops. Is everyone clear? I don't want anyone traipsing around the set like umbrella finches. Umbrella All finches. Right. Cameras will start rolling as soon as the set is ready. Let's make a film that'll make some serious waves in Fontaine. <laughs> some serious ah, waves in Fontaine. Not the kind of waves that drown people. I mean, the good. Okay, 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 okay. We get it, we get it, we get it. We get it, bro. traumatized by that a bit you mean a lot anyway let's go see if there's anything we can do to help <laughs> okay whoa camera panning out uh Whoa, whoa, there we go. Sorry guys, my game lagged for a second. Okay. Let's talk to Yoimiya. How about here? Uh, a little more to the left. You got it. Hey Yoimiya, do you need a hand? No, no, I'm fine. You know, doing the lighting is kind of like designing a fireworks show. It's interesting to imagine what kind of atmosphere the lights will create. Mm -hmm. I heard that the Traveler will be operating the camera and Paimon will be the clapper loader, right? <laughs> Those rules are just perfect for the two of you. It's like as if they really? were made for us. Is that because it'll be easy for Paimon to hold the clapper board while flying? Mm -hmm. Well, sure, there's that, but that's not exactly what I meant. I just think that after all your journeys together, you two must have developed a super close bond and just naturally know how to work with each other. If I'm not mistaken, the director will want the cameras rolling as soon as the clapperboard goes clack. 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 Oh, mm -hmm. I see. <laughs> it's amazing to see the magic behind filmmaking. You and me, uh, we need lights over there, too. Oh, on it! 
Yay. I've got to get back to work. Chat with you later. Oh, it's exciting to see so many people working together to bring the film to life. Hell yeah. Whoops. Sorry. Seems like Yamiya's really getting into it. Mm -hmm. But she was right. We do have a super close bond. Don't we? We've <laughs> literally li had really life near death near experience. Near death experiences, so of course we're close. Why would you say we're not? Let's go and, let's go and meet Shiori or talk to Shiori. Nayaka has mentioned you to me before. She said that you two were great friends when you were kids. Mm -hmm. No talking. I'm thinking about how to do your eyeshadow. <laughs> ah, yes. To help me really look the part. <laughs> to achieve a more. <laughs> Young and naive look for this scene. Uh, are you saying the wrinkles around my eyes are too deep? Well, you just have too much of a calculating look in your eyes. Oh. <laughs> you sure don't mince your words. It seems you really haven't changed much. How old is Quiet. Ayato? Okay, whoa. Let's talk to these lot. So, this is a real musket? No, it's just a prop weapon. Oh. Not bad. Have you seen a real musket before? Only in books and newspapers. I made this one based on the relative shape and proportions I saw in reference images. Ooh. When we're filming, some special gunpowder will be applied around the muzzle, which will help create the flash and smoke effects of a real gun being fired. Ah. Which means it'll be up to the actors to portray the recoil. <laughs> That's right. The sound effects for gunshots will also be added in post-production. Thank you, Veronique. I think I know where to start now. Yay. However, the musket's gears and firing pin could still use some work. Adding some wear on the metallic components will make them appear more realistic. Oh. Also, be sure to rub the muskets with some oil each time before we start shooting. That'll give the impression that the firearms have been well-maintenanced. Good point. <laughs> you seem to know a lot, Miss Chevres. I assume you use these types of firearms on a regular basis? Yes, I perform routine maintenance on my weapons every day. Just like we as people need to eat and sleep, muskets need to be cleaned and maintained. Mm. I also perform similar care for my sword every day, and familiarize myself with its shape and weight, to the point where it feels like a natural extension of my body. Huh. Yes, this way, our weapons will never betray us in the heat of battle. Exactly. Yes, well said. It seems we have the same philosophy on this topic. I'm glad these two are getting along. Oh, sounds like they found a common interest to talk about. Mm. Though these props differ from the muskets I use, I can still give you some pointers. Hey. Oh. Good. I look forward to your instruction. First and foremost, never point the weapon at anyone, regardless of whether it's a real or prop weapon or whether you're holding it or it's on the table. This holds for any time when you're not actively engaging an enemy. Okay, understood. When aiming the musket, extend your arm so that it's <coughs> level with your shoulder, and use your eye to look down the weapon's sights. Like this? Not bad. Now, try saying your lines. <clears throat> this is the end of the road for you. Damn. Good. Now turn your body a little. That way, you'll give your enemy less of a target to work with. And relax your shoulders. Here, allow me to demonstrate. This is the end of the road for you. Whoa. Huh. Whoa. Excuse me, Miss Chiori. Uh, uh, uh. All right. Director Farina, there's something I wish to discuss with you. Oh? What is it? Like this? Yes, my This brother. is the end of the road for you. What do you think? Think about mm -hmm. what? I do see your point, what? but are you sure you wish to do this? I believe it would be most fitting. Are they well, going? If you insist. All right, I understand. <clears throat> Miss Ayaka, Miss Chevres, could the two of you please come over here? Huh? What's going on? Are we going to start filming now? Let's go see. You keep working on that. I have a question for you, Miss Chevres. Would you be willing to play the role of a musketeer? Uh, what? 
To clarify, I would like to turn over my role to Miss Chavras. But, brother... Don't worry, Ayaka. I actually view this as a good thing. I was becoming troubled trying to set aside some time to speak to the staff at the Palais Mermonia. I would like to have some conversations about the cultural exchange between our two countries, and I've heard that the bureaucratic process here can get... rather complicated. Now, I will be able to focus on my work. Besides, you also know that I'm not really one for public performances. Mm. Are you really sure? From a director's point of view, I also felt like the relationship between the two musketeers in the original story could be improved. The older brother in the story plays the lead role with his overbearing character, but this causes his character to overshadow that of his sister, and the theme of the two supporting and relying on each other isn't conveyed very well. But if we were to change the siblings to two sisters of a similar age, then that aspect of the story might come through more clearly. Mm. Also, I've seen you instructing Ayaka. That cold and dignified personality is exactly what we need for the older musketeer. Of course, even with all these insights, the decision should still be made by Miss Chevrus. Uh... Chevrus mentioned that she really likes the story, right? Paima bets that she'll take the role. But she will have to prioritize her work, or...? Alright, I'll take the role. Hmm, okay. Good! It's decided then. I'll get started on making edits to the script. Yay! We'll also need to make some immediate adjustments to the lighting, props, and costumes. Oh, I have a feeling that our adaptation will be even better than the original story. Let's go. You're doing a great favor for me, Miss Chevrus. You have my gratitude. Don't mention it. I like this character, so if anything, I should be the one thanking you. Well, since my brother is the one who brought up the idea, I suppose there's no need to worry. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Miss Chevrus. I look forward to working with you. Please, just call me Chevrus. Chevrus. What a name is that, man? Chevrus. Seems like you're really going out of your way to solve the problem I was having with your makeup. Surely you jest, Chiori. I assure you that I was mostly motivated by a desire to spend more time on formal business. Mm. Oh, come on. You really think I'd buy that? According to what I've heard from Ayaka, her brother is someone who can juggle ten different matters at the same time. I'm sure you have other reasons for backing out. Perhaps. Ayaka always said she wanted to go out and see more of the world, just like the Traveler. Mm. But I feel that she needs not only to see other nations, but also to make some different kinds of friends. I think it would be harder for her to make new connections with me constantly by her side. I would like to give her some space. All right, go on. Spoil her some more. Ayato! It's too bad you're stepping down from the role. Paima really wanted to see you act as a musketeer. No, it's okay. <laughs> no need to poke fun at me. I'd wager that you also felt that I wasn't the best candidate for the role. <laughs> it's a little hard for Paimon to imagine you saying those lines. Yes, I've made an appointment to meet some people from the Palais Mermonia. <coughs> now, I will have some more time to prepare. Hey. Traveler, get the camera ready! Paimon, get the clapperboard! Actors, to your positions! Ooh. We're about to start shooting the first scene. Let's do this. <laughs> Go on now. And please take good care of Ayaka. We promise. Yes, don't worry. You can count on Thank us. You. I look forward to seeing the film when it's finished. Me too. All right. Now that we're all here, let me help set the scene for everyone. Ooh. The first scene takes place when our two main characters are still living at the Baron's estate. They've been ostracized and verbally abused by others in the household, but they still have no idea why. We want to capture how naive and innocent they are, despite their pain. Chevris mm -hmm. will be playing the role of the older sister, Tulip, 
and Ayaka will be the younger sister, Iris. Be sure to get close-ups of the main characters at the right moment. Silence on the set! Lights! Camera! Action! action. Let's go! Let's go. Chalip! Mother's been out for quite a while now. Mm. Perhaps she went to pick some flowers on the way home. You know how she loves flowers. Iris, to leap! I'm home! Elaine, zoom out! Book. Mother! You were out for so long, we were beginning to worry about you! Iris... Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm back now, safe and sound. Here, I brought your favorite treat! Apple turnovers! Ooh! Mother, what are those bruises on your hand? Zoom in. Huh? What bruises? Oh, I must have bumped into something while I was working yesterday. But I didn't notice them this morning. <coughs> then perhaps they're from when I accidentally tripped when I was out just now. Oh. By the way, did you have fun playing at home? This is so cool. <laughs> What's the what? matter, Iris? <laughs> Focus on the general surroundings. Oh, we've realized that... No one, no one wants, really to, wants to, to play, play with us. us. How is she so good at doing that voice? And spat at us. Fucking savages. And they even called us names. Oh, she's a, such a good they actor. What we the hell? Shh. It's all right. Don't worry. It doesn't matter what anyone says. Don't listen to them. No one can define you with such words. You both have wonderful lives ahead of you. Just like your names. You will both blossom like beautiful flowers. Maybe your time to blossom hasn't quite come yet. But one day, you two will bloom more beautifully than anything else. Don't let the soil you're in now ruin your future beauty. Understand? My dear daughters. Wow. And cut! That was good. Not bad. The actor's emotions were all on point. Let's keep that take. Also, if our clapper loader could avoid shouting at the start of the scene next time. Oh, I uh, got it. <sighs> Great. I was a little worried that my nerves would get the better of me. What about you, Chevras? I felt fine. The lines weren't too difficult at all. Seems like Farina <coughs> must have adapted the role nicely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You two were great. I couldn't tell it was your first time acting in a film. You should have more confidence. Thank you for your encouragement. Positions, everyone! We'll move on to the next scene after we try a few more camera angles. Yay. This scene is when our two characters return home, only to discover their mother has been murdered. Ready? Lights! Camera! Action! <laughs> okay. Mother, we're back! Okay. Mother? Mm. She's dead. She's dead. <gasps> Tulip. What's wrong, Tulip? Tulip? Iris, stay away! <laughs> what? Why? What's... <gasps> Mother! Whoa, her eyes. Oh, where's the blood? Oh yeah, we're gonna add that post-production. She's... She's dead. Uh, there's poison in this cup. <sniffs> uh, I could have sworn I've seen this kind of cup before. <sighs> Those aristocrats. They didn't even try to cover up their actions. <laughs> oh. Iris, we need to leave this place. Leave? But now that Mother is gone, where can <clears throat> we even go? Anywhere. All I know is that we can't stay in this house. Mm. <laughs> but... Are we just going to let them get away with this? No. We'll have our revenge, I promise you. Just 
Not right now. Yeah, they literally look like headphones. She got headphones. Come on. Let's go. Mm. No, wait. We can't just leave mother here like this. At least... At least let me leave this rose with her. That's why we went out in the first place. To buy her this flower. All right. Oh my God. Goodbye, mother. We'll avenge you. Mm hmm Someday. One day. We'll avenge and you. And cut! <clears throat> Beautiful! Great performance! Oh my, you're so amazing, Ayaka! And were those real tears I saw? How did you do it? Hey. I was surprised too. Thank you for the kind compliments. Actually, as soon as Director Farina said action, I told myself not to think about what anything. The? I just felt the weight of the moment and became the character. It's quite similar to practicing the art of the sword. You clear your mind and focus only on what's happening in front of you. Ayaka's performance was amazing. Have I discovered an acting prodigy? Ooh. Pipe down, everyone! We need to move on to the next scene! Oh my god. Next scene time. Guys, this is actually... I, this is cool. You know, like... I've never seen... This stuff in a game before. It, it, it's actually kind of cool. Damn, loading scenes are so long. I think what we could do is split this up because we've already done one and this one probably won't take that long. I think it'll take us like another 30 minutes and we can do the others as well. Because I do not want to like miss out on this, you know? A full day of filming on this set quickly passes. Yay. Huh? Are we done already? But Paimon wants to keep playing with the clapper board. You look tired. Hmm. How do you feel, Traveler? Is your arm sore from holding the camera all day? But it was a lot of fun. Good work, you two. You too, Chevrolet. You were quite the actress today. Mm -hmm. I've read this novel many times before. I have a good grasp of my character's mindset. Anyway, oh. do you remember my request from yesterday? Mm -hmm. Oh, right! We were having so much fun that Paimon nearly forgot! You have a case where the murders seem really similar to the cases in the novel, right? So, uh, how are they similar exactly? In the story, the main characters grow up to become two musketeers, always using their guns to carry out their revenge. And on each of the victims, they place a rainbow rose as a signal that they've returned. About that, guys. Bear with me, bear with me. Yes, that's correct. We found rainbow roses just like in the novel. <laughs> Seems like you're connecting the dots now. Oh, that does sound pretty concerning. Especially after seeing the script today. Oh, now Paimon can't stop wondering what kind of ulterior motive the murderer might have. Uh, what do you think, Traveler? You're smart. Paimon wants to hear your thoughts. Only with Good. it, assist. On behalf of Fontaine's Special Security and Surveillance Patrol, thank you for your dedication to justice. Yay. There's no time to lose. We should start investigating right away. Follow me. Huh? Right now? But well, we just got done filming all day. Paimon's so tired. 
The most valuable intel always comes after nightfall. They are like small, remote islands in the middle of the sea. If you don't stay vigilant, you will pass right by them in the fog. True. That's how one of my favorite books always puts it, at least. So, where are we going right now? Okay. Let's start by checking out some workshops that sell mechanical components. If the culprit is making mm. their own weapons, it's very likely that they'll visit those sort of places. I will end it off there. I will be recording again today to continue because I just need to take a little break. But I hope you all enjoyed this episode. And, you know, honestly, this event is actually pretty different to most of them. We will continue them in the next episode. I will see you all later.